hello and welcome back to my training so in this video i'm going to show you how to edit a video using viva cut the last video i showed you how to do a video edit using viva video so in this one we'll use viva cut so let's get started you need to have it downloaded if you don't have it head over to play store and search viva cut it's a free video editing app but it has its limitation as well so what you need to do is scroll on and open it um the first thing you need to do is click on this create there's a pro version as well that lets you remove watermark there is no time limit to it and you can export to 4k and 10 10 80 pixel it has some pro transitioning and pro filters as well but we are using the free version so let's get started with it just click on create and select the clip you want to use for it you can use this drop down to navigate to any folder your clips align so you can use this to view all your libraries or you filter by a particular folder so let's say i want to do just a basic clip i'll choose one image of my little nephew at home um, I'll add some clips about him then add images too you can add multiple clips just by clicking on it and it will add to your workspace then you drag and drop you can drag to move between these clips so once you have all your clips selected you just click on next it will take you to your works your workstation for editing your videos You can specify the canvas during the editing of the video and that's one feature i like about this app if i want to do for a youtube video i click on this if i want for your tiktok or insta story or whatever i need they have it here if you want just a square image you can select it i'll just stick to the original for now or let's say a 4 by 5 insta story then I'll click on select um, it will automatically once you select a canvas it will assign all your videos to that specific canvas so you just need to specify for one video and to specify it for all your clips then you can change the background you can use a colored background or you can use an image i think it doesn't let you use an image for This app doesn't allow using an image, sadly. So I'll apply to all clips. Then I can add in transitions to each clip that requires a transition. There are free transition and pro transitions as well. But we're going to use the free transitions. can specify the duration then I would like to apply to all clips so all my clips use one transition if you like you can specify different transitions for each clip but for simplicity sake I will just leave it at one clip then I can trim down on one third parts from my video you can use this double tap 
to reduce and see your complete clips on the go just double tap and drag to expand or reduce your video overlay so i'll trim this down i'll edit this clip let me split i like to split then drag and drop the parts that are not required you can resize it like this then you reduce to whatever length you need your video to do um, i'm just showing you like the tools that you mostly be using for your editing if you have an audio you can increase the volume i like this feature that you can extend adding multiple like add a volume more than the one your device comes with so you can duplicate this layer it will just duplicate the selected layer and and you can specify the speed as well if you are doing like a tutorial that doesn't require an, a voiceover so you can just put a music background to it and make it fast or um, you can trans transform flip mirror to change from vertical to horizontal you can rotate so i'm not going to use any of this but i'm just showing you like to know the possibilities you have you can set the brightness and saturation this is a cool feature i like about this app if you have a dark video you can add in some lights to it You can sharpen it as well so it captures the details so you just need to like know what you are looking for before you edit if you need more room for lighting obviously you add in the brightness then you can set in the saturation to edit the coloring and give it that pro look and you can apply to all by using this double check here and it will apply to all so um there's almost done with this i'll just add in a music to play in the background i can select from my device or if you are online you can download from their library i'll just select from my device i'll pick a random music if you are doing a youtube video there are some clips you cannot use otherwise it will be copyrighted i'll add in a youtube a quick youtube guide at the end of this series so if you want to take your video editing skills and start a graphics and start a youtube channel i'll give you like a basic guide on what you need to do and the rules of youtube to help you get started just as a bonus for taking this course so i'll see you then um once you add in the music you can obviously you can trim you can add it so you can add and it will just extend the video length adding a black background to it but i'll just make it to fit i'll reduce it so it fits the video then yeah and i can add text to my clip let's say i move all the way to the top then i can see my nephew growing up then i can resize it and drag it to a position I want it to stay. You can add in some animations to the text, like shadows, opacity. You can change the color. 
I'll use this and I'll stroke it with a white white tag. Yeah, it fits well. Then you can change the font. If you have a custom font, you can use that as well. So to do that, you need to paste your font in the video editor slash fonts folder for it to appear here. Then from there, you can just add in your custom fonts. Um, and add in some VPS effects. Some are free and some are paid. So I'll just leave it like this and you can drag the duration of the text to pretty much whatever length you need. And you can add in multiple text stacked on top of one another. Let's say another one. Then you start on top of this and I can specify a duration as well for it and offer edits. <coughs> Let me say I add in shadow for this one and I will lap it. So you can use this to do a subtitle kind of feature. Um, so once you're done, once you're done adding the text on your images, like editing your clips, you make sure you cross check to make sure there are no, so I like to play it, you can play it, but I won't play it because it's long and Then, if you like, you can mute the video so that the background music will play on it only. So once you're done, just click on export. And I like to set this frame rate to 30F. Then that way, the video is exported at a higher speed and a better rate. Like it adds in extra features to it, so I'll just select. You need to go to this, select this quality to come up with the best video quality of. So I'm just going to leave it to save, and what done with this. I'm um, think this is more like an intro to Viva Video. In the next video, I will show you how I edit my YouTube videos as well, and. I'll see you there.